Hello everyone. Did you know that potatoes are one of the most popular foods in the world? Every year, over 300 million tons of potatoes are consumed globally, with China and the United States leading in production. American farmers produce 44.1 million tons of potatoes each year. In 2023, this contribute about $101 billion to American economy. An average American can eat about 4.5 metric tons of potatoes over their lifetime. So have you ever wondered how farmers manage to harvest such an enormous quantity to meet our demands? From soil preparation and planting to harvesting and storage, the journey of potatoes from farm to table is far more complex than you might think. Thanks to modern technology, American farmers can manage dozens of acres of potatoes, carefully monitoring every stage from irrigation to harvest with precision and efficiency. In today's video, we'll explore this entire process, from planting to the intricate steps of processing potatoes in the factory. Seed potatoes are specially selected for their quality and disease resistance. They are typically cut into chunks with at least one or two eyes per chunk, as the eyes are where the new plants sprout. Efficient soil preparation is crucial for successful potato growth. This involves plowing and tilling the soil to a suitable depth, usually between 8 to 12 inches, to promote good root development and drainage. Fertilizer is also an indispensable part for the growth of potatoes. With modern machinery, thousands of potatoes have been covered on hectares of fields. Large farm owners will often invest in automatic irrigation systems. After 20 days, the potato sprouts have grown into green plants. As the plants grow, it is important to monitor for pests and diseases such as potato beetles or leaf blight. When the potato plant flowers, it is a sign that the primary tuber has formed. This stage coincides with the onset of tuber formation, a process in which the plant begins to divert more resources from leaf growth to underground tuber expansion. Potatoes are typically ready for harvest after the plants have flowered and the leaves begin to yellow and die back, usually about two to three weeks after flowering. It's also crucial to test the firmness of the potato skins to ensure they are sufficiently set and do not get damaged easily when handled. A mechanical harvester can gently lift the potatoes from the ground while separating them from the soil and debris. A windrower may be used beforehand to clear and air dry the potatoes on the ground if weather permits. Because the farm is very large, 
people need to check the machines carefully to make sure they are working at full capacity. The harvester's speed should be adjusted to suit field conditions and soil moisture to avoid damaging the potatoes. Farmers need to closely monitor the harvesting process to promptly adjust machinery and methods to minimize loss and damage to potatoes. Tons of potatoes are hiding underground. The golden potatoes in the ground are now moving the line. Farmers stand on the back of the cart and sort out the bad potatoes. With modern machinery, it only takes seven hours to harvest a five hectare farm. Potatoes are cured in a controlled environment to develop a firm skin and heal any minor injuries. Such a potato harvester would cost anywhere from $100,000 to $150,000. Trucks loaded with potatoes are ready to take the potatoes to the factory. After the harvest, trucks filled with potatoes begin moving to a warehouse about one kilometers away. During transportation, farmers need to go slowly so that the potatoes do not get crushed. Potato storage should be maintained at a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius to prevent germination and limit the growth of bacteria and mold. Potatoes should be stored in a dry, well-ventilated place and protected from light to prevent greening and the formation of solanine. Potatoes are transported by automatic conveyor belts to replace human labor. There will be a few workers standing next to the conveyor belt to remove any diseased potatoes. Just like that, tons of potatoes were easily put into storage. If there is no storage, immediately after harvest, Farmers will process the potatoes to bring them to the factory. Sand will be screened through soil filter. Potatoes continue their journey to the factory. Potatoes are packaged at the factory to be brought to supermarkets for consumers. First, they are fed into a conveyor belt to be taken to the washing tank. The washing liquid contains chemicals that help remove dirt and make the potatoes smoother and whiter. Then, the potato packages will be packed in fixed weight. Finally, the bags of watered potatoes are transported to supermarkets for sale to consumers. 
Factories often receive potatoes in bulk from farms. They are usually stored in large bags. The potatoes are then fed onto conveyor belts to begin the production process. The potatoes are first cleaned to remove soil, stones, and other debris. This is typically done using a water bath or mechanical scrubbers. After cleaning, potatoes are sorted by size, weight, and quality to ensure consistency in the final product. Next, the potato skin is peeled. Mechanical peelers usually scrape the skin with an abrasive surface. After peeling, potatoes are inspected manually to remove defective parts. They are put into chemical baths to give them a more attractive color. They are then fed into modern cutting machines to be cut into shapes like slices to make potato chips. They are rinsed with clean water again to ensure no chemicals remain. Looking at these potato slices, do you find them appealing? Cut potatoes are often blanched by immersing them in hot water or steam. Blanching helps to remove excess sugars, reduce microbial load, and preserve color. Post-blanching, potatoes are dried to remove moisture on the surface. This step is crucial for achieving the desired texture in fried products and also helps in extending the shelf life. The dryer uses hot air to circulate around the surface of the potatoes to cook and crisp them. Potatoes will be dried within 15 to 20 minutes. Frying with heat does not require the use of cooking oil, helping to reduce the amount of fat and calories in French fries. Potatoes are crispy on the outside, but may be less crispy than fried in oil. However, this method still retains the moisture and flavor of the potatoes. French fry products are cooled at room temperature or with forced air. Engineers control the entire process through a monitoring system. This process is fully automated by machines. Crispy potato slices are out of the oven. They are divided into specific portions for packaging. The final products are then packaged in a controlled environment. Packaging is designed to protect the product from air, moisture, and other external factors that could degrade its quality. Packaged products are stored in warehouses at controlled temperatures until they are distributed to retailers or directly to consumers. In addition, the factory has a laboratory available so that professors can measure the safety and nutrition of products before selling them on the market. The whole video just explained how American farmers harvest millions of acres of potatoes. Thanks for sticking with me through the whole video. I hope you picked up some new insights. Do you have any questions after watching? Feel free to drop a comment so I can help you out.
And don't forget to like and subscribe to support me in creating more useful videos for you. Goodbye, see you next video.